about the footage, about the material, and especially when you work with uh, non-fiction material. You've edited a lot of documentaries. So what does that do to you, living with those stories and that material for a long time? I personally feel both are very important. A friend of mine had said that, you know, documentaries are like breathing in and fiction is like breathing out because, you know, you learn from life when you're doing documentary. And it is so true because things just happen, right? And you're just on the lookout of things that have happened. Whereas in fiction, everything is so designed and everything is very coordinated, which is also fun. But it is, you are expressing yourself in a different way. So I think the balance for me is very interesting. I really like the rawness of documentary and I like that it pushes me more as a person. I think now, in this time when there's so much more footage that is shot in fiction, you know. When you're working on a documentary, in order to understand the footage better, have you ever sort of done your own research work for it or the footage is, uh, is enough? No, no, always. You always like... To try go and down understand. the rabbit hole. Yeah, totally. Try and understand what this person is about, what happened, what am I trying to say. Also, create your own take, right? Because mostly you're not there on the shoot. So you have to figure out what is it that you feel about it. Hmm. So, so also figuring that out. Does that involve out. reading other stuff around yeah. it? And which is yeah. not, all, not, not only the footage. Yeah. Totally, oh, totally. Like when we were doing House of Secrets, I had turned into a detective. Like because I read every single article that was available on what had happened that night. So I had my own theories and then, you know, you go down that rabbit hole. Okay, me, if this theory is true or is this true? So, yeah, it completely consumes you. Between pacing hmm. of, a, of a story, the visual effect of the story, and between performance, which one do you mostly end up sacrificing? Visuals, I think. For me, performance and rhythm are tops. I think rhythm, then performance. Because if the rhythm is good, then even if the performance is slightly substandard, it will still pass. But if the rhythm is not okay, then everything just comes jarring at you. How do you create a sense of rhythm for a story? Is this something that naturally comes to you? Do you, ed do you use sound while editing? Or do you keep a soundtrack which will belong to the film or be close to what will belong to the film while you're editing? How do you do that? So while editing, I just cut with dialogues and nothing else. And I think the rhythm, you definitely have rhythm because you're a performer yourself mm. and an actor. So it is that inherent rhythm, right? What you feel when you listen to music, you know when to tap your foot. It is somewhere that in a very simplistic way, but also a lot of observation, I think. For me, the most important and interesting thing about editing is observation. It says like, how do people behave and in different kind of situations, when do they blink their eyes, when do they not, when do they keep a straight face, you know, when people nod, sometimes people nod after a while. And those kind of things actually really help a scene. Wow, so interesting. Yeah, like, and because these are the subconscious messages that an actor is passing, right? Like, if you're not sure about what you're saying, it will show on your face. Hmm. And that is what you want to capture. Yeah. And those, other than the dialogues, people always react to these subtextual things, always. Like, I mean, my favorite example is that if you start a shot on the blink of an actor, it means something. If you end the shot on a blink, it means something else. You know, so it's just these small things, people get it. So retaining these smaller things or not retaining them would dictate the pace for you? Yes. Like, so. I think then we can say that the most important thing to determine it is the intention of the scene. Is there an undercurrent going on between these two characters? Or are they meeting for the first time and it will be different? Hmm. Or is it that they have a history and now, you know, they're trying to put it up away. So it can be anything. Hmm. And those things are not always there in the dialogues. So you try and capture that. That is the most fun thing, I think. Yeah, that's the most fun to do as an actor also. And I'm so glad somebody's watching it <laughs> <laughs> and noting it and keeping it or not keeping it. Do you get this feedback often and how, how do you respond to it? Because I hear this very often as general feedback about any film or show. It's like, it's very slow. Hai. 
सेकेंड हाफ स्लो था फर्स्ट हाफ ठीक था यू नो दिस इज अ जनरल काइंड ऑफ सो इज दैट फीडबैक यू फाउंड there is merit to it or is that something which is disturbing mostly there's always merit to it hmm. but of course people when they watch it they don't always see a very articulate thing hmm. they may not tell you that you know this relationship is not working for me samajh hi nahi aaya maybe hmm. that's not what they say they'll say ki yaar bore ho gaya slow lag raha tha so it's up to you to really take out what they really hmm. mean so i find all these focus group screenings feedback screenings friend screenings very very helpful so and it, did you make changes uh, always always in fact in fact right after the first cut i i mean i would really like to show the cut and then you get an idea what is working what is not working what is really not working but who would you show like a fresh a, a first cut to given that the first cut doesn't have music doesn't have all the other work done the reference music is always, always there. there i mean uh, after the first edit is done you put a music to enhance it hmm. not uh, like 500 violins <laughs> type of music but just generally like getting closer to the intention of the scene and of course you still have green screens and all that but uh, it it does give you an idea i think it's a great service these screenings are a really great service yeah 